Hi, welcome to the Ultimate Sports Blog Podcast for January 2nd, 2018. I'm Madison Miller. Today we'll talk about Week 17 NFL uh, and what went down, the coaches that lost their jobs, preview this weekend's playoff games for the NFL, and recap the bowl season in college football, and preview the national title game. So on we go for Week 17. In the meaningless game, the Giants beat the Redskins 18-10. Eli Manning, 132 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. Kirk Cousins was awful, 158 yards and three picks. The Giants obviously let go of Ben McAdoo about a month ago and are interviewing candidates for their job right now. Washington decided to keep Jay Gruden around, which surprised some people. Because he was a consensus uh, pick for coach possibly to get fired. The Lions beat the Packers 35-11 to in a meaningless game. Matthew Stafford, 323 yards and three touchdowns. Brent Hudley, 172 yards, a touchdown, two picks. Mike McCarthy received the contract extension from the Packers. And Jim Caldwell got the axe from the Lions. Ted Thompson, surprisingly, no longer the GM of the Green Bay Packers. He's going to be in an advisory role now, so the Green Bay Packers will have a new general manager. The Indianapolis Colts beat the Houston Texans 22-13. to Jacoby Brissett, 114 yards and a touchdown. TJ Yates, 137 yards and one pick. It looks like Bill O'Brien will return to Houston, and Chuck Pagano lost his job. So the Colts will likely, or will definitely have a new head coach next season. The Vikings beat the Bears 23-10. to Case Keenum 189 yards and a touchdown. Mike Trubisky had 178 yards. The Bears let go of John Fox, so they will have a new coach. The Patriots beat the Jets 26-6 to to Received the number one seed in the AFC. Tom Brady, 190 yards, two touchdowns. Bryce Petty, 232 yards. Todd Bowles got a contract extension, as well as GM Mike McCagnan. The Cowboys beat the Eagles 6-0 in a meaningless game. Nick Sudfeld filled in at quarterback. Well, replaced Nick Foles at quarterback. um, Threw for 100 and... 34 yards and no touchdowns and no picks. I'm sorry, Nate Sudfeld. Nick Foles, meanwhile, only played a quarter and threw for 39 yards and an interception. So that's that, and the Eagles are the number one seed in the NFC, although they'll probably be an underdog in their playoff game in the division round to whoever wins the wild card game. The Steelers beat the Browns 28-24. to It was basically the Steelers' second string. Landry Jones got the start, 239 yards, a touchdown and a pick. Deshaun Kaiser, 314 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Juju Smith-Schuster had a tremendous game for Pittsburgh, and he, he should be a factor for them in the playoffs as their number two receiver. The Falcons beat the Panthers 22-10 to to clinch the NFC's final playoff spot. Matt Ryan, great game, 317 yards and a touchdown. Cam Newton, meanwhile, had a bad game, 180 yards, a touchdown, and three picks. Um, Ravens blew a p- opportunity to receive one of the playoff spots in the AFC, and they lost to the Bengals by the score of 31-27. to And what was a wild game? Andy Dalton, 222 yards and three touchdowns. Joe Flacco, 203 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. And the Buffalo Bills are in the playoffs, and they should thank the Cincinnati Bengals for that. Speaking of the Bills, they they did what they had to do, which was go to Miami and win, and they won 22-16. Tyrod Taylor, 204 yards and a touchdown. And Miami, David Fells, Got the start. Fails. 265 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. Um, 
So, yeah, the Buffalo Bills get the win. Oh, I'm sorry. Dan Fales didn't start. Jay Cutler did. And they only threw for six yards. But I think Cutler... Yeah, Cutler. I don't know what happened with Cutler. He must have gotten hurt. So, Dan Fales um, did okay for Miami in relief of Jay Cutler. And now the Bills are in the postseason. The Buccaneers beat the Saints by a score of 31-24. to In spite of that, New Orleans still wins the NFC South, courtesy of the Atlanta Falcons beating the Carolina Panthers. Drew Brees, 245 yards and a touchdown. Jameis Winston, 363 yards, a touchdown, and three picks. Um, and it looks like the Bucs are keeping Dirk Cutter around, although there was a lot of John Gruden rumors before last week. And maybe I'll get to John Gruden in a second. Uh, the Tennessee Titans defeated the Jacksonville Jaguars 15-10 to to clinch the final playoff spot in the AFC, or one of the last two playoff spots in the AFC. Marcus Mariota threw 434 yards and a touchdown. Blake Bortles, 158 yards and two picks. The Chiefs beat the Broncos 27-24 in a meaningless game. Mahomes got the start for uh, Kansas City, 284 yards and a pick. Paxton Lynch got the start for Denver, 254 yards, two touchdowns, and two picks. Vance Joseph is returning as head coach of the Denver Broncos. The Chargers beat the Raiders 30-10, to and they would have been in the playoffs had um, the Ravens beaten the Bengals. Phillip Rivers, 387 yards and three touchdowns. Derek Carr, 243 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. And Oakland fired Jack Del Rio. And the hot rumor, as I just mentioned, John Gruden. The rumor is that he will likely get the job in Oakland. He admitted that he was interested in the job. And a lot of reporters out there are saying that he will indeed um, be the coach of the Raiders. So look out for that. Um, possible move within the next couple days. The 49ers beat the Rams 34-13. to Jimmy Garoppolo, great again. 292 yards, two touchdowns, and two picks. And getting the start for the Rams in place of Jared Goff was Sean Mannion. Two, oh, I'm sorry, 169 yards he threw for. Um, and then the Cardinals beat the Seahawks by a score of 26-24. Drew Stanton, 145 yards, a touchdown, and the pick. Russell Wilson, 221 yards and two touchdowns. Bruce Arians called it a career as he announced his retirement. And Pete Carroll is likely, most likely going to be back for Seattle. Um, I just mentioned all the coaching changes um, as I was giving the scores and it's obviously intriguing because um, John Gruden um, is likely going to replace Jack Del Rio with Oakland. Um, and then the rest of the around the league, um, Adam Gase, nothing. I've heard nothing on Adam Gase. And speaking of, uh, I mentioned Jay Cutler before. He left the game against the uh, Bills. Um it's weird. I still can't figure that out, but I'll get to that eventually. Uh, but yeah, Adam Gase, nothing on him. Bulls got a contract extension. Hugh Jackson's returning for the Browns. We should hear something about Marvin Lewis within the next couple of days, if not hours. He'll probably not return for the Bengals. Bill O'Brien safe, apparently. Chuck Pagano fired. Mike Malarkey, depending on how this weekend goes. Um, could very well lose his job. Um, Vance Joseph will be back with the Broncos, apparently. And actually, no, not apparently. It's true. John uh, Elway tweeted it. Um, I mentioned Del Rio. Jason Garrett will be back with the Cowboys. Jay Gruden will be back with the Redskins. Mike McCarthy got a contract extension. Um, Jim Caldwell got let go as well as John Fox. 
Um, Dirk Cutter, apparently safe and is coming back. Um, and then Bruce Arians retired. So there's your uh, coaching. Um, changes and then uh, and onto the playoffs we go. Um, the first game is the Tennessee Titans at the Kansas City Chiefs from Arrowhead. Um, I mentioned if the Titans lose, Mike Malarkey could very well be out the door. Um, the Saturday night game will be the Rams hosting the Falcons, which will be a great game. Um, and then Sunday afternoon you have Jacksonville hosting the Bills and the Bills ending their long playoff drought. Um, and then we'll see how those two teams do, and both those teams have great defenses, so that should be a low-scoring game. And then we have, which I think is the best game of the uh, first round, New Orleans hosting Carolina in the, in the um, wild-card round. And I like when division rivals meet up in the playoffs. So I think that brings some intrigue to it. And then we have the Bulls. Um, the college bowls that um, went on the last few weeks and in obviously a few days, um, which I'll get to all the, the great games over the past couple of days in a minute. I just want to recap the whole bowl season. Uh, the RL Carriers New Orleans Bowl, Troy beat North Texas 50-30. to I was wrong about that game. I picked North Texas. The Cure Bowl, Georgia State beat Western Kentucky 27-17. I was wrong there as well. The Las Vegas Bowl, I whiffed big time. Boise State beat Oregon 38-28. I thought Oregon would win. Uh, New Mexico Bowl, Marshall beat Colorado State 31-28. Marshall has been good in bowl games the last couple years. The Camellia Bowl is the only game I got right on that first day of the Bulls. Middle Tennessee defeated Arkansas State 35-30. And then Tuesday, December 19th, the Boca Raton Bowl, FAU absolutely destroyed Akron 50-3. to Wednesday, December 20th, the DXL Frisco Bowl, LA, Los Angeles, or blah. Louisiana Tech beat SMU 51-10. That was shocking to me. Thursday, December 21st, um, Temple beat FIU 28-3. I thought that game would be competitive. I was wrong. Friday, December 22nd, Ohio beat UAB 41-6. And then the Idaho Potato Bowl, um, Wyoming beat Central Michigan 37-14, and Josh Allen did play in that game. December 23rd, South Florida beat Texas Tech 38-34. In the Birmingham Bowl, the Armed Forces Bowl, Army beat San Diego State 42-35. The Dollar General Bowl, this one surprised me. Appalachian State shutting out Toledo 34-0 in the Dollar General Bowl. Christmas Eve, you had the Hawaii Bowl. Fresno State beat Houston 33-27. December 26th, um, the Heart of Dallas Bowl, Utah beat West Virginia 30-14. That wasn't a surprise considering Will Greer didn't play for West Virginia. The Quick Lane Bowl, Duke beat Northern Illinois 36-14. The Cactus Bowl, Kansas State beat UCLA 35-17. And Josh Rosen did not play in that game. December 22nd, or 27th, the Independence Bowl, Florida State beat Southern Miss 42-13. Iowa beat Boston College in the Pinstripe Bowl 27-20. The Foster Farms Bowl was a great game. Purdue beat Arizona 38-35. The, the Texas Bowl, Texas beat Missouri 33-16. I thought that game would be a little bit more competitive. December 28th, Navy beat Virginia 49-7. That was, uh, I thought that game would be more competitive, and I picked Virginia there. That was a whoops. Uh, the Camping World Bowl, Oklahoma State beat Virginia Tech 30-21. to The Alamo Bowl, TCU beat Stanford 39-37. That was a great game. And in the Holiday Bowl, Michigan State beat Washington State 42-17. December 29th, the Belk Bowl, Wake Forest beat Texas A&M 55-52. That was a great game. The Hyundai Sun Bowl, NC State beat Arizona State 52-31. to The Music City Bowl, Northwestern beat Kentucky 24-23. The Home Loans Bowl, New Mexico State beat Utah State 26-20 in overtime. The Cotton Bowl Classic, Ohio State beat USC 24-7. to 
Sam Darnold's final collegiate game, JT Barrett's final collegiate game. Sam Darnold threw for 356 yards and a pick. JT Barrett only threw for 114 yards. So, like I said, possibly Sam Darnold's final college game. That was definitely JT Barrett's final college game. December 30th, he had the Tax Slayer Bowl. Mississippi State beat Louisville 31-27. Lamar Jackson's possible final college game was not good. 171 yards, two touchdowns, and four picks. Iowa State beat Memphis 21-20 in the Liberty Bowl. That was a great game. The Fiesta Bowl was a fun game. 35-28, Penn State came out victorious in what was Saquon Barkley's final collegiate game. 137 yards and two touchdowns for Barkley. Wisconsin beat Miami in the Orange Bowl, 34-24. to And then on New Year's Day, you had the Outback Bowl. South Carolina beat Michigan, 26-19. The Peach Bowl, UCF beat Auburn, 34-27. That was a great game. The Citrus Bowl, Notre Dame beat LSU, 21-17. That was another great game. The all-time classic Rose Bowl, Georgia beat Oklahoma, double overtime, 54-48. to Baker Mayfield. Final collegiate game, 287 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. Jake Fromm was really good for Georgia, 210 yards and two touchdowns. The two running backs were tremendous for Georgia. Sonny Michel, 181 yards and three touchdowns. And um, Nick Chubb was great as well. And then in the title game rematch, Alabama beat Clemson 24-6 to in what was sort of a dud of a game. Jalen Hurts threw for 120 yards and two touchdowns. Kelly Bryant, 124 yards and two picks. And in the national title game, you have two great teams from the same conference, ironically enough, Georgia and Alabama. And you got Hertz and you got uh, Fromm, two great quarterbacks. And in, in the running games, are great with Nick Chubb and Sonny Michelle for Georgia and then Bo Scarborough in Alabama. And Harris as well. Calvin Ridley's a great receiver. Both defenses are great. Alabama's defense is finally healthy, as we saw against Clemson last night. I'll make my pick for that game in the next podcast. And that's it for today. And hope you guys have.